In this video, we will do the system check of GE Carescape R860 ventilator. Here we need to press the system check button. Here you can see these are the, all the parameters that will get checked in the system check. So whenever this, there will be a system check, these all parameters will be checked by the self-testing will be done by the ventilator. So this is system check details are basically a self-testing method. So in this all the parameters will be tested. Also the leak, compliance, resistance of the circuit will also be checked in this test. Now coming down we have the inspiratory and expiratory port. So this is the filter which we use in front of this machine. This is not a HME filter. This filter prevents any particles coming from the inspiratory port. We can just push it, just push it in the inspiratory port and it gets fit. We need to make sure it is tight enough. After checking that, we need to place the flow sensor and exhalation valve. So flow sensor and exhalation valve set will, will, will get attached over here. By pressing this unlock button, we can remove the expiratory flow sensor when it is not in use or when we want to change the flow sensor. Now just putting the flow sensor inside this exhalation valve with flow sensor. So you can see a gap, a notch over there. We need to match this notch and you can see one port is there. You can see one hole is there. This go is inside and there is a locking mechanism. So just pushing it, carefully pushing it. So this get attached to the ventilator. This exhalation and expiratory flow sensor mechanism helps in giving the values of tidal volume and the expiratory values. This is the inspiratory, this is the expiratory, so here tubes get attached, this is the nebulizer end, this is for the pressure and this is the release button. You need to just press the unlock button for removing the flow sensor and exhalation valve. Here there are four connector metal ends you can see, so this helps in determining the flow. So these are based on the temperature variations. So now we are attaching the Y patient limb to inspiratory port and the second end to the expiratory port. So from here, the expired gas will be taken and the reading of tidal volume and etc. will be taken from this flow sensor and exhalation valve. This is the front end of the tubing. Here, this will be attaching to the test port. So we are attaching this to the test port for checking the ventilator. So when we are attached the test port, then we need to press the system check. So it will give the warning. So after that you need to press the play button. Then you go press the I button. Then you can see what are the parameters that the ventilator is checking. First it will test the pressure transducer, then barometric pressure. Then after that it will test the relief valve. In the right you can see the change in the pressure that the ventilator is making efforts and having different pressures. In, uh, with respect to that the values are being noted by the ventilator. In the relief valve, both O2 and air pressure and what pressure and pressure variations and pressure delivery both are checked. Then exhalation valve, exhalation valve is checked. After that, the expiratory flow sensor. So, so the expired air which is coming from the patient, so it is checked. So there are different. Uh, are, it is checked in different velocities. So first low velocity, then higher velocity. So depending upon that, the air is taken out from, means with a ventilator gives the air outside and from the Y limb, it goes to the flow sensor and flow sensor has a range of values in that it checks the flow sensing. Then after that, similarly, it will check the air flow sensor. So these two, uh, two parameters are checked simultaneously. So whenever there is a flow sensor is passed, simultaneously the air, air flow sensor values are also detected by the ventilator. After that, it will go to the oxygen sensor. So it will check how much the oxygen content is in per breath. So suppose a amount of breath is there, in that breath, how much oxygen is there. So what value we had set on the ventilator and what the value is delivered, delivered to the patient that is checked by the oxygen sensor so this oxygen sensor plays an important role of checking the oxygen so ventilator first give a 21% of oxygen then give to 100% oxygen 
and it slowly detects whether when it is giving 21% oxygen whether the at the end it is uh, delivering 21% oxygen or not so this takes a little bit of time for detection of oxygen at different intervals or different ranges you can see the slowly slowly it will detect the oxygen while the circuits are like this so it will take a little time by having different at levels at what the at which which level the how much oxygen is delivered then o2 flow then it will say to remove the occlusion from the patient y so we are we will re remove this occlusion so we will let it go to the air after that when we press the i button the system check is complete it will show the leak compliance resistance circuit measurements and the final result